YouTube friends, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time stopping by, please hit the subscribe button so you can be notified every time I post a new video. And if you're interested in booking a private reading with me, please go to my website www.goldentruthtarot.com. Okay, thank you. Let's get started. Today I'm going to be doing the August reading predictions for the sign of Cancer. Okay, Cancers, let's see what I what I see for you for August. So in the first week with the three of pentacles, I see that you have reached a success point in your in your career, in your job, in your profession, or in your personal business for those of you who um, who have your own personal businesses. I see you've worked very hard, you've taken on too much on yourself. And it's time for you to also focus on teamwork. Um, teamwork is going to help you reach even high, even higher goals. And it's also it's going to make it easier for you to succeed. Because I see you have taken too much upon yourself. And you've been very detail, detail oriented. You're you're, you're being very meticulous when it comes to your your job, the things that you do. You want to make sure everything is perfect, every detail is perfect. Um, so yeah, it's it's you should you should start kind of dividing the workload with with other people as well, not just everything yourself. Um, you can you tend to be a perfectionist with the three of pentacles. It's like that that Virgo uh, element when you want everything to be absolutely perfect but that's going to burn you out but people have noticed uh, your managers your bosses your supervisors your clients uh, people have noticed all the hard work that you've you've put into um, your career your job your your business so you will succeed um, but the job is not completed as of yet so as of right now you still have more work to do you haven't reached that point when um, you can get the promotion or you're very close to it, but it, it hasn't, it's not going to happen at least in the first week of, of August. Okay, Cancers, what else do I see for you in the second week with the Ten of Wands? Wow. So there is, as I said, you have taken so much upon yourself because you want to be the best. Uh, you wanna you wanna show that you really want this promotion. You really want this 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 job, or you really want to be successful. So, because of that, you have taken so much upon yourself that you are gonna feel just burned out. <laughs> I mean, look at the even the card. It's surrounded by. Um, it's surrounded by fire in a way. It's like burning from all all that uh, workload, um, and we also see Saturn in the in the in the background there. I don't know if you can if you can see it. Meaning, all the challenges that you're going through, it's happening because you're you're meant to be going through these challenges so you can so you can become better at at your job, at your career, you can, uh, it's going to reward you. Saturn is going to reward you uh, later down the line. But for now, you have to go through all this, this, um, uh, all this hurdles uh, till you get there to that point when you're successful and everything goes well. But try to, yeah, as I said, try to divide the workload with other people as well. Don't just do everything yourself if you can, um, because that's you don't want to be in that position with a with a ten of wands. And also, you're focusing too much on one thing, and you might start not paying too much attention on focusing too much on uh, your family or your loved ones or your friends. You're just maybe focusing being a little bit of a workaholic and just focusing on one area of your life uh, during the second week. Okay, so you do need to take some time for yourself and try to do something that makes you happy, a hobby that you might have or anything that just focus on on yourself. So so you can get away from fe feeling this way feeling just burned out okay what else do i see for you in the third week with the king of pentacles 
I see a person that uh, in this particular deck it shows the sign of Capricorn, but it can be an earth sign or the rising can be uh, in an earth sign. So either Taurus or Virgo or Capricorn. And uh, this is a man that can be a man in power, a man that um, can help you uh, a lot, a man that is very generous, very grounded, uh, very positive. It's a good, it's 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 a good person, very ambitious, a person that has worked very hard in their life, and now they're established, but they know they they know how hard it is to to get to that point. So when they see someone like you, Cancer, trying very hard, working very hard, focusing, then they're, they they understand, they can see that that energy in you. They can see the the desire to succeed in you. So they they will push you, they will help you, they will support you. Uh and this yeah, this person is very successful. Um it can be your boss, your manager. It can be another uh, somebody that is uh, a higher up that can can help you, that can give you really good business advice, or can practically help your friends. Uh, my, my, you might have somebody, a friend that um, might have these qualities, and they're very uh, accomplished themselves and want to help uh somebody that is trying to to get there to the same point so yeah they're very good influence from from uh from this person very good influence a lot of help when it comes to uh anything f- material wise finances business career you will get help from from this individual okay cancers the last card for the month of August and the last week. So I was during during the meditation process that I that I do before any any reading. Um, this this one came up the first time and I kind of doubted myself. I was like, Oh, wow, this is a very strong message. So let me maybe it was my mistake. Maybe I didn't shuffle it right. Or so I, I kind of doubted myself. And so then I I put the card back in the deck and I and, and I started my meditation process, started shuffling again and it just flies out again and I was like, okay, I, I have to read this card. Obviously there is um it's it's not gonna be for everyone, uh because it's it's a general reading for all for all cancers, so not all cancers are gonna go through this. But for some people it's a strong message that I have to give to you guys, okay? So the tower card indicates sudden change happening, very drastic changes. So um, sometimes it can relate to your job, but I do see you working very, very hard. So I don't think it's going to be in relation to your job, but it's probably going to be when it comes to relationships or something dramatic happening that you just don't see it coming. Um, The tower kind of takes you out of catches you off guard in a way and it's it's faded it's meant to be it's meant to happen uh you have no no control over it um it's like sometimes we try to hold on to things and we we don't want to make certain changes and we don't want to do certain things because we're, we're comfortable where we are the way even if even if things are not perfect if we're comfortable in the way our life is we we tend to not want to change or mess things too much but sometimes there's some uh, events some karmic events there some things are just meant to happen and they're going to happen no matter what you can try Uh, but in this case it's like and we we see the eye of raw just kind of uh, burning the tower and it's out of your control something extreme is going to happen and it's out of your it's out of your control. You, you you're just gonna have to um, to kind of figure things out as they go and 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 try to work around this this situation. But there's no way you can prevent it. In some cases, it also represents um, natural disasters or earthquakes. As I said, I don't want to alarm anybody. I don't want to upset anyone this is this is a general reading it's not going to happen the same for every cancer out there uh but it was a message that came out twice so i have to i have to give it to you guys it's something as i said something that 
is going to happen that you weren't expecting it to happen. That for the moment, it's going to feel like it's something tragic, uh, something it's going to feel like, wow, why is this happening to me? What have I done to deserve this? It's, it's um, completely, it's going to catch you completely off guard. But in the long run, you're going to see that that's a blessing. Uh, it's going to come from it. And it's like a found, it's it's like a building that was built in in um, not a strong foundation. So uh, it's very easy to be um, to collapse to to collapse to the ground. So that's that's the message that I see for you in the last week of um, of August. I also have multiple cards from different decks. Uh, yeah, and I see. I also want to go back to this card i see a lot of expectations during this during august so you i see you being a little bit impatient uh cancers because you you've given so much you've worked hard for so long now you just want to rip the rewards of of um of all the things that you have worked for of all um all those plans that you have you kind of you're kind of impatient you want those things to happen uh i see you want those things to happen really fast and you will get recognition it's just not going to happen as of yet as of august at least it might happen in the in the following months um we will see in the next uh in the next reading for september but as of right now things are still uh still not really moving just get that that verbal recognition not not yet the financial one okay let's see from the oracle of the spirit of animals the animal for you for this uh for this month is the chameleon and the message is stay in the background and adapt to the situation rather than being conspicuous and attempting to direct the course of events Okay, so yeah, that's one of the things that we know about the chameleon that they're very, uh, that they adapt to any situation, any um, environment that you put them um, in. So they change color, their skin changes color uh, depending on the, the environment. So if they're in a place with a lot of trees and very green, they they transform into a green color and if they're in a place when it's close to more woodsy they, they take like a brownish color or if they're close to flowers they will take take the same color of the of the flower uh so yeah so it's time for you to just kind of blend in do your job and just wait um if you try too hard during august that can backfire on you okay and they can bring you that tower that tower moment so try to not do too much not overwhelm yourself too much because you might say something wrong or you might lash out in a certain way or show your frustration maybe uh to the wrong people and then that might backfire you okay so just to try to do what you can and, and just sit and and wait <laughs> basically what we also see in this card is kind of she's just kind of sitting and waiting on the window a little bit impatient not knowing what what's gonna happen but she's she's just waiting and that's uh that's the message mainly for you for this uh for this month from the oracle of money and the law of attraction the message is i'm developing the skill to direct my thoughts okay let's read more what it says the most valuable skill or talent that you could ever develop is that of directing your thoughts towards what you want to be adapt at quickly evaluating all situations and then quickly coming to the conclusion of what you most want and then giving your undivided attention to that. There is a tremendous skill in deliberately directing your own thoughts that will yield results and cannot be compared with the results that were act action that uh, where action can provide. Okay, so yeah, it's it's that's one of the most important skills is to uh, to do what we can to focus our attention on our goals and our dreams. We can't let 
our past or the way we grew up or our family's mentality or traditions or um, stereotypes or whatever the case may, may be to affect us and make us feel like we can't accomplish something or we can't reach something. Um, so the number one thing in achieving success and achieving what you want is to know exactly what you want. And that's why I recommend to anybody, if you don't know what you want from yourself and from your life, and it's understandable, um, just take some time for yourself to meditate, to focus on your own desires and your own goals and dreams and what makes you happy. We're constantly, nowadays, we're constantly bombarded with information from social media, from TV, from uh, we're working in, in closed doors, we're not in touch with nature, we're just boom, boom, all this information nonstop. So anybody, I recommend at least 10 minutes a day, just just kind of get away from from everyone, <laughs> not your, your partner, your kids, anyone, just, just take 10 minutes for yourself in peace and quiet and just quiet your mind and try to just relax and 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 have and sometimes what has helped me personally to figure out what I want for myself um because I've I've been working in in banking and finances and all all that and for over 10 years and I really hated it hated being in an office hated being in front of a computer uh, I will. I was good at it just because I have that. I I want to be good at anything I do because my name is attached to it, so I get pride on what I'm doing. But I I really did not like it at all. Like I was not happy. I was dreading every every single day. So what what helped me kind of what brought me to tarot and kind of f- focus my my attention and figuring things out was I try I. I I didn't know what I wanted to do at all. So I I was like, okay, what are the things that I don't want to do? So I started narrowing down uh, things that I didn't want to do. And I was listening to a lot of YouTube and, um, and I saw this, um, this video from Matthew McConaughey when he says, when he talks about okay, if you don't know what to do, what you should do, it's kind of just narrow things down, start from the things that you know, for sure you don't want to do. So yeah, so I started thinking about that, okay, what are the things that I don't want to do? And the number one thing, thing was, I don't want to work for, um, I don't want to be in front of a computer, I don't want to be on somebody else's time, I want to have my own freedom to make my own decisions. And I want to be more more flexible to be able to spend more time with my family and my kids and uh and do something that i really love and that makes me happy and gives me a a certain purpose not just i'm working to make somebody else uh rich or make money for someone else and i'm just getting getting this paycheck that is not really that is good enough to just keep me on a certain level but it's never good enough to take me to that next, next step. So yeah, so that's what I started doing. So every day I was just thinking, okay, what? And one day, I promise you guys, if you just give it time, one day is just going to click, you're just going to know one day, it's, it's going to make sense. It doesn't, it doesn't happen right away. And it's frustrating. Trust me, it's very frustrating. I've been doing, I've been thinking about this for a long time time it didn't happen to me right away for a long time for years I was thinking oh my god what what is my real calling what am I supposed to do I'm not happy with what I'm doing so it's it took me a long time I'm um I'm not one of those people that just woke up and then exactly knew what they wanted from their life um but it's so it's so worth it when you when you find something that you really love and you're really passionate about it's so it's so much worth it but taking time for yourself is the key. Taking time, and it it is a skill. It is a skill that we have to force ourselves to do. We have to force ourselves to direct our attention. 
I don't know if you've noticed, you try to meditate and within like two seconds you're thinking about something else. So you're trying to focus on yourself, on your breathing, boom. And, and then because you have so many things in your head, you're, you're now you're thinking about something else, boom, <laughs> right away. Uh, especially for me, I'm a, I'm a, my son is in Gemini, so I'm constantly doing things. I'm, I constantly have so many thoughts in my head. It's, it's, it's hard to, like I had to force myself to quiet myself down and focus on on meditating and relaxing and um and all that uh so and i and i'm still working on it <laughs> every day some days it's still it's still hard to just quiet my mind and really really relax uh but yeah i recommend it to anyone just start with small steps one day it's gonna happen everything is is just going to click it's just going to make sense and you will you will have the answer but you have to start asking the question first and you have to make a, a genuine um intention to direct direct your thoughts towards your goals and then the message from the oracle of healing which is so pretty it's commit to happiness so commit to your own happiness. That's very, very important. I want to connect. I want to read this message as well in connection, both of them. This is from the Oracle of Love. It says, choose love. You always have choice. Make yours with love. And the number one love, I think it's very important. It's love for ourselves first. Because if you're not happy with yourself, with who you are, you can't be a good person and you can be a good person, a good partner, a good mother, uh, a good friend to other people or mother or father. You, you, you can't have those roles unless you're happy with yourself. Like, for, for example, if somebody is sick and they're like really sick and they're not feeling well, they're very, they can, they can tend to be very grumpy or very irritable. They're not really focusing on anybody else. They can, they, they, sometimes it can tend to be even nasty with other people like um, they're not their usual selves and that's because they're not feeling okay with who they are they might be not physically in pain but also also mentally frustrated and insecure of what's going to happen depending on their illness and stuff like that so it's the same kind of idea if you're not happy with who you are uh, as a person with how your life is because you're not committed to that self-love. You, you're not making your choices starting from a loving place for yourself and for other people around you. And you haven't, you, you're not completely committed to your, uh, you're not completely committed to your happiness. So then, so you, you might not understand, but you might lash out at other people for, for sometimes for no reason really. And, and that's more inner, inner word. Um, I think that that's, at least in my opinion, that's the secret is to go inwards, not outwards. We'd always try to project it to, into other people. Um, if, if, if this happened, I will be happy. Or if, if this person loves me, I'll be happy. No happiness. It's, it's individual. We, we came here alone, alone. We, we were born alone beside the people <laughs> the other people that are born twins or triplets but all of us are are individuals so we have to look for that happiness for that peace within within ourselves and it's it's a it's a journey it takes it takes time uh we're constantly learning constantly tr trying to improve yourself uh but i hope this message has helped you cancer uh, cancers out there uh, I hope you start this process of meditating, uh, focusing your your thoughts into uh, into the things that you want to accomplish, things that you want to achieve, and um, and work towards towards that goal. Okay, guys, thank you so much for spending this time with me. It was a pleasure as always. Uh, if you if you like it. If you like the video, subscribe, share it with your friends. And if you want to book a private reading with me, just go on my website, uh, www.goldentruthtarot.com. Thank you so much. And I see you on my next video. Bye-bye.